Hello Aries, this is your reading for the 30th through April 1st. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got for my Aries friends. What do we have for Aries and love? Please show me. Messages for Aries. Two of Pentacles. You guys always have a lot on your plate. Always balancing here, okay? And I'm feeling like you guys are doing it well. Um, I feel like you are constantly like taking on things. But there is definitely a need to um, master, you know, what you've already taken on before taking on something else. Just so you can maintain your balance and do it well. Okay. Two of Cups. Alrighty. I feel that, <coughs> excuse me, there is definitely something going on with you guys by way of love. Okay, and we do have polar opposites here with Capricorn and Cancer energy. Okay, I'm feeling like you guys are ready maybe for a relationship or an intimate connection here. Okay, but you're trying to figure out if it's something that you can do, um, that you can take on while you're taking on these mundane aspects like you know your job and your children and your family is like you know do I have time to actually get involved and get involved with someone here ten of wands mm, somebody's thinking very heavily about um, starting a new relationship for sure but I think a lot of you guys are kind of feeling like, you know, it may be too much work. Like, too much then, you know, you're not really that eager to take it on. It's like you feel it, but it's like, mm, I don't know, I may be getting over my head, get in over my head with that. Um, I might need to slow down because I am doing a lot of things right now. So maybe it's not a good idea at present to do it. Okay, Five of Cups energy there. I'm getting that somebody is wanting to come towards you guys here. Somebody that's, that has been thinking about you guys a whole lot. Um, there's definitely been a feeling of regret when it came to you guys or when it comes to you. Um, feeling sorrowful surrounding something here feeling like you know you guys will not want to reconnect with them this is somebody I feel like that had originally set out on their own away from you guys Scorpio energy there I feel like Sagittarius is here um, maybe a Sag Scorp uh, Cusper here for some of you but somebody's willing to if they told you that um, you know, it was too much. They didn't want to be in a commitment or a connection with you guys before. They're willing. They're wanting to now. They feel like they've made a mistake in this connection with you. Please show me more about the Two of Pentacles. The Tower. There's a lot that you guys have going on. I feel like you're working very hard. Um, and, and you're just really trying to maintain. You're, you're trying not to let um, things get in the way of you guys being successful here. Five of Wands there. But you're very conflicted over this. Some of you know who this person is. Okay. And then others of you, it's just like in general, it's like you, I think you're ready for a connection. But your heart is ready for a connection. But your head is, is telling you, mm, maybe not now. You're in a good spot. Um, let's just keep doing what we're doing. But some of you, you know, you're a little concerned about this particular person because there's been a lot of conflict between you guys before, okay? A lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. And that same person is wanting to come back. They're having some regrets around um, going out on their own, walking away, having regrets over a breakup that happened between the two of you guys here. Please show me more about the Ten of Wands. 
the Six of Cups. Definitely somebody from your past, I feel, is wanting to come back. Um, they want to reunite. They want to work with you guys. They don't want to carry all the burden. They don't want you to carry all the burden. They want to work with you guys here. They do not want to be in conflict with you anymore. They want to work things out. And cards are falling out here. Yes, definitely want to make an offer with that Knight of Cups energy. Scorpio again. And wanting to tell you that. They're very anxious, whoever this is. They're very anxious to deliver this love message to you guys. Okay. Some of you know who this person is. Some of you may have an inkling. But um, if you don't know, I'm here to tell you. There's a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, possibly, um, energy that is anxious to speak with you guys. Okay. Before I even pull what other energies are coming in for you. Let's see. What other energy? Okay, two cards flipped over. Look at that. See what I'm talking about? Somebody that was very selfish for a long time. Okay, I'm feeling Aquarius. Gemini, possibly. Um, Scorpio, Piscean energy. Okay, somebody that was very selfish for a long time. And they they only were thinking about themselves for a while but now it's like okay they've gotten themselves together um and they've probably been drinking their sorrows away but i feel like this person has matured and they want that tenth cup with you guys here okay oh wow they've been stuck for a while They've been stuck for a while. They have not been doing anything. Um, but they are ready to start over. They do not want this to be over permanently here with that world in reverse. It's the way I picked them up. You guys know I do not like to read cards in reverse. But yeah, they were stuck for a while here with the hanged man. But you see the hanged man is in reverse now. Uh, they're ready to move. They're ready to move. They're ready to come towards you guys here. Okay. They do not want this to be over. Permanently. They do not. Whoever this is. Pisces. Scorpio. I feel Leo. Taurus may be here. Aquarius is here. And Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon.